Dr. Umar, you, my sir, are a black man. Why should I care about a war being waged against you? If you care about the future of black people, then you naturally have to care about the destiny of black men. When you look at most of the pathology in the black community today, from black on black crime, to single female headed households, to poor academic outcomes, to unemployment, much of that is due to the war against black men. So if we want to survive and thrive as a black family and as a black community, we have to implement solutions for black men. So Cynthia G says that the war is waged against black men towards black men. So everything that you just listed, Cynthia would suggest that that is the fault of the black man on his own. And I would disagree with that. All of the problems that black men have were introduced by the white power structure. We do not control the school system. We do not control the criminal justice system. We do not control the economic system. All of the problems that we struggle from were introduced by the white power structure. Black on black crime is a byproduct. It is a second hand influence of the white power structure against black males, stress, depression, fatherlessness, unemployment, miseducation, lack of economic opportunity. These are, these are the ingredients that contribute to black on black crime. You cannot do an effective and accurate analysis of black on black crime until you first do an effective and accurate analysis of white on black crime. Cynthia G, you say what? I say this is the typical Black community's dishonest, I'm going to blame everything on everyone outside of the Black community and ignore what Black men are choosing to do. The reality of it is, is the system is not making Black men do anything. Whether Black men have schools where they can send their boys to is up to them. Whether Black men just choose to educate themselves so that they're qualified for positions that will give them the income they need to support their families, that is on Black men. Nobody's forcing Black men to walk away from their children. Nobody's forcing Black men to murder Black women every five and a half hours. Nobody's forcing Black men to abandon their children, publicly display how they don't like or care about their children. No one's forcing Black men to do anything. And I think it's a great disservice to pretend that someone is forcing Black men to do things rather than to put the accountability where it needs to be, which is Black men. If they have an issue with the system, they should have addressed it a long time ago. You don't get to complain that you don't have any power in a system that you didn't fight to have power in. You fought for assimilation. You did not fight for equality. That is on you. I think we're making excuses at this point. Duan? And I would like to say to you that, Omar. Briefly, that Lyndon Baines Johnson had commissioned a Kerner commission in 1967, 68 to investigate the causes of the 1967 Red Hot Summer. As you know, there were more race riots across America in 1967 than any other year since 1919, led by Newark, New Jersey and Detroit, Michigan. The Kerner Commission were experts in criminology, sociology, education, politics, and et cetera. They produced a book that is, I believe, at least 500 pages that details the reasons why those riots took place. And according to the president's own commission, the problems that exist in the black community were created by the white power structure, maintained by the white power structure, and enforced by the white power structure. So Cynthia G's position is totally inaccurate and has been refuted by expert testimony coming from the Kerner Commission itself. And I would also say, good sister, that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. One of the reasons Dr. King was murdered is because the Kerner Commission was released, which would have gave Dr. King all the ammunition he needed to lead his breadbasket campaign. Even the white power structure admits that the problems black men face were introduced by the white power structure. And